Is Halo 6 going to include Sprint once again? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Buckeye. And let's get into today's video. Arguably the most controversial addition to the Halo franchise since Halo Reach has been Sprint. It has since Reach just completely taken over the game. Everything and quite literally everything about the game has changed to accommodate Sprint. That's been very apparent between Halo 4 and Halo 5 and the struggles that they've talked about in terms of creating the maps and the design and everything like that, it's a lot more of a different dynamic when having Sprint versus not having a Sprint. It's been one of those really controversial topics. A lot of people have very strong opinions about how they want Sprint to stay in the game. Then you have a lot of people that enjoy the old style of Halo, which would rather have no Sprint, and they believe that the downfall of Halo over the last recent years is due partially, largely, to Sprint being included as a mainstay in the game. Now, 343 even recognized this backlash with the creation of Halo 5. When they first had their Vidox talking about Halo 5 in the first place, they explained that they knew a lot of people didn't like Sprint, but that by their data, a lot of people did. So what they did was as a compromise, they made it to where instead of you just being able to run and sprint and whatever, if you got shot, your shields would go and they wouldn't recharge until you stopped moving. That was in regards to player feedback from Halo 4. Now, to some people, that wasn't enough. They wanted Sprint gone entirely. But that's what they did. So they recognized that there was feedback, uh, you know, centered around that idea. So Sprint has always been an incredibly controversial thing with Halo. It just, it just always has been. My personal opinion is I don't want it in the game. I personally believe that the game has fallen in terms of popularity significantly. Because this is the way I look at it, right? In today's market of video games, you have the ability to have so many of the same exact game. But, luckily within the last year, we've had a nice plethora of different style games. You've got Fortnite and PUBG, these really awesome battle royale games that play completely differently to a game like Call of Duty. And then you have Rainbow Six Siege, a very popular shooter that plays completely differently from all those games. You know, it, speed is not something that's very prevalent in that game. You've got very diverse and unique games in the market recently that are bolstering their community because of their uniqueness and ability to stand out among the rest of the games. This is something that I believe that Halo has lost its focus on since Halo Reach. With Halo Reach, their desire was to get more and more like Call of Duty with Sprint. Now, I'm not saying, okay, people are going to say, oh, Call of Duty didn't invent Sprint. I know Call of Duty did not invent Sprint, but it's the easiest comparison. Com considering the direction that they tried to go. They went the way of the loadouts and sprints and everything like that. Their focus was to be more adaptive to the rest of the market. You know, most of the market at that time focused around Call of Duty and games like that. So they tried to appease to all of those audiences as opposed to really focusing on their own audience and trying to bolster that one even further. That's my opinion on that. So let's talk today about this particular topic. Is Sprint going to return in Halo 6? I have a particular piece of information that I want to talk about, and we'll see if it has any relevancy for this video. So just a few days ago on April 5th, when the Halo community update came out, and they talked about how they were removing the Halo 3 Classic playlist from the rotational playlist, and they're putting in the Halo 2 BR playlist, The Sims, a very well-known caster for Halo, tweeted out something very interesting. So he actually tweeted out some screenshots where it says the playlist details for the Halo 2 BR playlist, and it says Halo 2 BR Slayer, and under that it says a classic never goes out of style. And then he, you know, kind of zooms in and everything like that. So the idea that what he was trying to get across is classic. He really likes the classic. He wants the classics. So that, that was the, the purpose of his tweet. So Grim Brother 1, obviously very well-known 343 employee, dealing with all the community and stuff like that. He replied under the tweet with a gif. You know that gif? I'll probably I'll show it on the screen. With this wonderful gif. And uh, the Sims replied to these words speak to me, Jeff. And this is this is the crux of of this point I'm trying to make here. Jeff Grimbrother1 goes on to say this. I mean, I know they do. LOL. Fortunately, those albums will always be there for us to go back to and listen to. Hmm. I don't want to look too much into this, right? But this is probably the most information we've gotten 
perhaps indirectly, for the idea of Sprint in Halo 6 at all. Now, he could be completely not mentioning Halo 6 at all in this. He could just be saying, yeah, we've got all those things, you can go back and play them at any time. That could be very well what he's talking about, but at the same time, it makes it seem, the way he words this, that you can play those at any time, but you're not going to get that moving forward. That's what it seems like he's talking about. I mean, just listen to what he says. I mean, I know they do, lol. Fortunately, those albums will always be there for us to go back and listen to. Based off of the way that 343 has done their work so far, seeing this doesn't give me any hope for anything different that Sprint's going to be returning. Now, he could just be talking to talk, obviously, but... I don't know. We'll find out. But this was something that I saw a couple days ago, and I was like, man, that's kind of weird that he mentioned it like that. And I just kind of, and I was like, eh, you know, I didn't really think about making too much of a video about it. But the more I thought about it, I was like, that's, that's really odd for him to say like that. So I figured, well, we'll make the video about it today, and we'll see what you guys think. So as far as that goes, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Not only about just Sprint in Halo 6, do you think it's going to be there, but also what do you think about Grim Brother 1's comments about this? Do you think he's saying that Sprint is going to return in Halo 6? Or do you think it has no connection to Halo 6 whatsoever? And also, I want to know, how many of you guys want Sprint to return in Halo 6? I've already received a few actual comments from my previous videos talking about Sprint in Halo 6, and it's been very interesting to see your guys' perspectives, so let me know in the comments your perspective on Sprint. I want to see. If you want to see more content like this, definitely going to be making a lot more Halo videos. Moving forward, I can feel the news coming soon. Some sort of event, some sort of reveal is going to happen. Hopefully it's at the Halo World Championship. We got another week to find out. We'll see. But if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, obviously, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, go ahead and give me a like. And if you didn't, of course, as always, give it a dislike. And check out the Twitch link in the description to go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Buckeye Breeze. I'm going to be streaming over there. Hopefully within the next three weeks, I'm actually going to be getting a new computer that's going to allow me to do all the things that I need to do. So, without any further ado, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.